Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Pisces here, and this is one of your daily collective messages. Okay, like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Appreciate. <gasps> Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It is greatly loved and appreciated. Um, God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings of light, was my best interest, best interest, and the best interest of the collective at heart. You are welcome into this reading. Please. Give the Pisces here collected the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Okay. I be feeling like a lot of stuff to say sometimes. Um, so last night, <laughs> um, I was like, what are we talking about tomorrow, spirit? Okay. So they had me pull like, I don't know. I'm going to do this mantis being message. Okay. It, they gave me the mantis beings and the vegans. Okay. And then, you know, others from other things, but that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so um, the mantis beings, um, it says enigma, elusive, sensitive, okay? Come on now. And this one is vegans, <clears throat> vegans, solitude, independent, and peace, okay? So... Um, it says some consider the mantis beings to be one of the most mysterious. It is said they originated from the Virgo constellation in Sombrero Galaxy some 29 million years ago from, I mean, some 29 million light years from Earth. OK, certain factions also reside in the Draco constellation. <clears throat> mantis beings are bipedal, standing up to 10 feet tall with additional joints on their long, spiny limbs, okay? They have an exoskeleton body that ranges in colors from greens to browns to black. Their neck, arms, and hands have additional joints, and they are insectoid in appearance, similar to Earth's praying mantis. They have sometimes been associated with abduction and contactee phenomena, and reports claim they have an oily covering substance on their body for reasons that are still speculative. Ancient Egyptian Aboriginal and African mythologies make reference to these beings. Reports say the mantis beings culture reverses the matriarchal so social structure and they honor subtle feminine receptive frequencies to maintain a heightened tuned in awareness. They are masters of sound and color vibrations, both in healing presence and in maintaining an altered state of higher consciousness. OK, and um, I'm hearing like this is this is what, you know, you can do, too. OK, you are you are like you have like a heightened tuned in awareness. OK, and, you know, sound and color vibrations are really, really important. OK, if you are watching this. Um, Spirit told me to look into color breathing, okay? But I haven't yet. But, you know, if you get a chance, you should look into it. I'm going to look into it when I, when I get done doing this, okay? So it says, these essential practices are also carried through the mantis beings cultural ceremonies to maintain a highly evolved civilization. They are telepathic and like the blue um, avions, have a highly sophisticated sentient spherical orb force field technology for interdimensional time travel. Some say they are the silent overlords that monitor and observe the cosmic species spiritual progress. Okay. So, um, I guess they they just oversee things. Okay. It says movement observation, Manager, matriarchal, you could be a manager or like the matriarch of your family, okay? It says open minded, okay? You could like to dance, um, but you have really high vibrations, okay? And you're really sensitive, like you're kind of rare, okay? I mean, yes, we're all rare, but you're like super rare, okay? With your shit. Oh, let me see. What does this one say? This one says vegans, okay? You could be a vegan, okay? It says vegan beings reside on planet. Ve oh, yeah, vegan is what it is, okay? Vega being vegan beings reside on planet Vega, also called Alpha Lyra, okay? The brightest 
star of Northern Lyra constellation, Vega may have its own solar system. Vegan beings are ancestral refugees from the ancient Lyra Draco wars. They, pe they peacefully do not participate in any galactic politics or wars and take a neutral stance to the complex dramas. Okay. So you could have this same kind of like way of being okay. You could be like, you just totally someone who avoids all the drama at all costs. Like even like TV drama is like not that entertaining to you sometimes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says they are culturally around 250 years ahead of the Pleiadians and stand six to seven feet tall. Vegan beings are highly self-sufficient and very autonomous. Um, civilization they are a okay <laughs> they are spiritually guided by the andromeda council the vegan beings are natural healers and care deeply towards nature and the natural environment while my i keep saying vegan okay while vegan beings did initially participate in the original seeding projects they culturally prefer to stay neutral and private they choose mostly to be in solitude on their home planet vegans are independent and intolerant of feeling restricted to their sovereign self agency as their name suggests, they are vegans and only eat organic raw plant life. They consider the consumption of dead animals to be a foul crime against nature. Most, um, so it is vegan, okay. <laughs> so most vegan beings are humanoid though some hybrid vegan beings have genetic characteristics of nearby ETs, okay? So um, maybe you need to take some time to retreat, okay? Um, it says solitude, you know, self-directed, sovereign, independent, um, resourceful, privacy, peace, apolitical, and family. Oh. So, yeah, okay, let's see what they talk about. <laughs> Okay, so planetary guardian. Okay, so I think they're saying that they they help to guard our planet while we're doing all of this. I'm I heard galactic growing. Okay, they send us um, light codes. Okay, we got Maya. We got the universal light. I mean heart. My bad. We got the galactic code. Okay. Um, dream time and energy work. Okay. First of all, I need to know what the hell it's talking about. It has like the longest paragraph ever. Okay. So Maya is a star. Okay. It's one of the most ancient establishments where the foundation of the Pleiadian culture began, specifically in a world we refer to as Miso 7. So the, pan the planet's mostly water, just like our Earth, but it also holds islands where many of the original Pleiadian founders began their upbringing. So let me see. Similar to the Earthlings, we placed... We were placed on this planet to find our way amongst the natural backdrop. Our originals were fortunate enough to begin to hear the stories that were broadcasted through the observation of the stars and were guided to receive their inner blueprint, which allowed for them to <clears throat> receive the higher intelligence that soon shaped our civilization foundation. Okay, so the vegans came before that, okay? <laughs> The vegans can't, because this is the Pleiadian Oracle, okay? The vegans, you know, passed down some of that knowledge to the Pleiadians, okay? And they're wanting to pass that same type of knowledge down to us, okay? Because, you know, if you're, um, if you're at a really high vibration, okay, then your entire magnetic field around you, you know, it is what protects you. It is what keeps you safe, okay? And it is what connects you to the grid of the earth and to the all of the other galactic things, you know? 
Um, so you're directly connected into this universal heart, you know, make sure you are making decisions from your heart is what they're saying. Okay. Make sure you're making decisions from your heart and not just, you know, all with your mind, make balanced decisions. Okay. Um, and the, the, the galactic code, hold on, let me tell you, cause I don't know. I, well, I kind of know, but I don't want to, I want to get it right the first time. Okay. So it says, in the direct middle of <clears throat> all star systems rest the central point of our universe, referred to as the galactic central core, okay? So it's core. <laughs> that R looks like a D, though, okay? Look, it says, um, known throughout our societies as the birthplace of consciousness, the central core is where life is born and time returns to a complete standstill. It is here where we return as brothers and sisters to the infinite love that makes us whole. So it says the core is not just a distant metaphorical celestial body that one needs to leave their body to experience, but an accessible gateway that we, the Pleiadians, often connect with for higher guidance and recharging our energetic system, similar to how you, the hues, sun gaze with your star Ra. Okay. It says, the loving light of the galactic core has come your way to remind you that love is your home, okay? It is a necessity time. It's a necessary time to pause in the motions and reconnect with self-love, self-care, and release. Whether, whether in Epsom salt bath, getting off technology, or walking in the woods, this card is requesting that self-care and compassion towards the self be a priority, okay? Um, also, pay and get attention to your dreams right now. Um, if you are really tapped and connected in, you are definitely having dreams, okay? Um, and you need to write them down, okay? Write them down. Um, look over them. I need to do that too, okay? I need to... Um, read over my dreams. They've been crazy, yo. And I just like write them down. And then I just, I trip off it for a second. And then I just like, whatever, but I have to go back. Sometimes I do go back because spirit will like bring something to my attention and I'll be like, oh, like in the dream. <laughs> okay. So, um, energy work. Okay. Um, okay. Mm. Um, it says a great awakening is occurring in the medical fields on your planet. After years of failing to diagnose beyond just the physical, the medical profession is opening itself into the field of energy and the great story, the greater story behind disease. OK, these new waves of healing modalities are transforming your world and will reorganize the way in which all humans operate moving forth. We, the Pleiadians, can relate in having similar journeys and rejoice in knowing that your planet is awakening to the concept that you are your own healer, okay? You, yes, you, hold the gifts and the tools to shift your cellular memory regrowth structure and program the way for your operating system to conduct itself, okay? It says, reclaim these greater tools of liberation by proclaiming that you are a healer. This proclamation is not simply a request to do it all by yourself through your ego, but to open into the field of learning where many teachers will arrive to your doorstep to guide you and the collective as a whole. Open humbly into this field and dedicate precious time to healing yourself, knowing that each time a human reclaims their inner healer, they send ripples of empowerment to all on the earth in both past and future, okay? So you can say, I am a healer, yo, and you just, you just did something, okay? So, um, you know, make sure you say that. One more. Let me get one more, please. Thank you, okay? The enlightened gut, okay? Follow your intuition. <laughs> Listen to yourself, okay? You guys are extremely guided, okay? Y'all are high vibrational, okay? You have to... Um, 
make sure you're taking care of you. I watched this video, man. I wish I knew the name of it because it was really great. Okay. And he was just explaining how just like stars and planets have a magnetic field. So do you, that is how you connect to the planet. And, you know, they use the example of air and how all of this information is literally on the airwaves, you know, and if air wasn't a tangible thing, well, I mean, you know, it's really not, but if it wasn't, they're saying it's more like a, like an electric fluid. Okay. And so that's how you connect to the world. You know, you're always in it all around, you know, kind of like a fish tank, you know, with air, if that makes any sense. Okay. So, um, and that's like our atmosphere. So, um, you know, they were saying that each, like the stomach is a living organism, you know, inside of you and it has a magnetic field and each little piece and part of you has its own magnetic field. And so that's why the more you take care of the inside of your body, okay, the more that, you know, you, you vibrate higher because you are taking care of yourself and it includes self-love and, you know, things like alcohol and drugs and all of that stuff puts holes in your aura. You know what I mean? It wears your your magnetic field down and that's how you lose your protection too. Okay. So it's bigger, you know, it's, it's really big. Like if you look at it scientifically, it's amazing because it makes perfect sense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it really tripped me out. Okay. So, um, look to universal knowledge. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's, 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 that's that shit. Okay. So look, Make sure that you're following your intuition, okay, and really doing what feels right to you right now. Like, you have the choice. You have all the choices, you know. Um, look, follow your heart with um, Archangel Raphael, and that's how you, <laughs> you are the money. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're the money. Like, everything that you need all can be brought to you. Okay. And it's because your vibration is high. Okay. And you have this huge like magnetic field, you know, not only does it protect you, but it literally gives you the power to make the things that you're making. Like that's why some people, you know, are master manifestors, but they can't manifest yet because their um, magnetic, you know, vibration field is not high enough yet. Okay. You really have to have this energy of love, you know, that is really important. The more love you have for yourself and others, okay, the bigger your force field gets. Look, it's, it's, a, it's a good strategy to go by, okay? It's a good, you know, that's a good way to um, really build your future, okay, is to have a high vib vibration now, you know, avoid um, doing too much thinking, you know, the name of the game is, is clearing the mind unless you're using it to, you know, really do something, you know, like, but in those in-between times, you know, like, I don't know, I'm really good at like keeping my mind clear, you know, but I've been practicing. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes it just be going and it just won't stop, you know, and I'll just be like, ah, like, please be quiet. Okay. You know, but, um, I, for the most part, I'm really good at clearing my mind, you know, and they're just saying, you know, um, releasing attachments to, okay, because you wouldn't be thinking about nothing if, you know, like you didn't have an attachment to that thing, if that makes any sense, you know, like some people think about money all day and how they're going to get it, if, even if they got to steal it, you know, but that's their attachment to money that makes them think that, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it's important to, you know, really detach from the physical, you know, and totally realize that you're not your body, you're just energy, just like everything else. And that's why <laughs> once you figure that out, you know, then you can control your reality better. Okay. Yeah, it can open you up to all of these different adjacent possibilities and all these different ways of looking at things, you know what I mean? And you'll get <laughs> messages like this, you know, <laughs> where they're just like, let us teach you something real quick, you know? Like, I'll just be minding my business. <laughs> yeah. Um, loving the community, okay? Look, um, it's like there's a lot of, like, 
hating going on, you know, and that's really the problem, you know, it's like our vibrations come together as a collective, okay, like all of us, you know, so the more people that's on this, you know, loving energy, you know, oh, I love everyone, oh, I'm not holding this grudge, oh, I don't have, you know, I'm not trying to start no issues or start no problems or start no fights with nobody, I'm just trying to manifest my best reality and live my best life. That is the energy that will raise the entire planet, you know, and that's why it makes it so easy for all of the illusions and shit to, you know, get to everybody because it's like, mm, it's like embrace your feminine side. Okay. That's what it is about. Like if everybody really held their heart you know, decisions higher than they held the decisions of their egos, then, you know, we will really be getting somewhere, you know, that's really how you get to, you know, a valuable <laughs> life, you know, you have to take certain actions. Um, also, trying to be, not be so anxious, you know, I <laughs> can get really anxious sometimes, okay, like, like, for real, I, I get really anxious sometimes. And, you know, spirit's always working with me on that. You know, um, if you do find yourself getting really anxious, you know, try to find something to distract you, you know, read a book, you know, uh, even turning on like sound bowls or something like that, you know, that really, um, does help. It really does. And say, say the words, I am a healer. Okay. That will open you up to learning so many things including love. Okay. If you're not already in your divine connection, it's like people not at, not saying the words, you know, of what they are, you know, it keeps them, you know, in this little box, you know, she's like standing behind this gate, you know, looking at this big world, you know, that she can go explore. So, you know, they're saying like embracing these philosophies, you know, saying you are a healer. So you're opening up this gate to everything. You know what I mean? To, to everything pretty much to be explored, you know, because to be a healer or to be, you know, a shaman means to study a lot of different, you know, philosophies, just like, I don't know, like being a Buddha or, you know, they're those types of things. They're the same thing. Like, what else, spirit? Because y'all got me rambling, okay? It says blossoming abundance, okay? That's what really does bring it in, okay? It really, it really, that's how you, you're putting these big pulses out to the universe, you know, like everyone's talking about. By having a high vibration, you know, meaning you're pretty much happy all the time because you've done the shadow work, you know, and if anything comes up, you do the shadow work, you follow the rules of the universe, you know, that's how you receive this blossoming abundance that everybody's after, you know, making sure you're taking the time to yourself to rest and to always um, rejuvenate your energy, okay? It says um, your throat chakra with um, Archangel Michael, this is what I'm saying, speaking, speaking these words, you know, speaking, like when you learn those little pieces about you, you know what I mean? Like saying, putting I am in front of that, you know, and proclaiming it, that that literally raises your vibration, you know, and it's like each and every time you do it, it opens up your mind a little bit more until you just be knowing stuff, okay? But like I said, everybody... <laughs> everybody's just thinking <laughs> like it's just a lot of thinking energy going on <laughs> look but that's how you get the victory you clear your mind okay this is what they're really saying let me see y'all got last words what's the last little message Just these. The song said, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, generosity. I give generously to those around me, no matter how much or how little I have. I know there is more than enough to go around, and that is the key to allow it to keep going around without stopping, okay? If I stop the flow, I'm like the one person at the stadium who doesn't do the wave. Exactly, okay? <laughs> Catch this wave. <laughs> 
So self-love, okay? I openly embrace a feeling of self-love, the PG kind. <laughs> it says, I love myself because I understand myself. I love myself as the most committed partner I will ever have. I show myself love any way that I can. And when I screw up, I remember to be sweet and gentle with myself. Um, if not, I'm going to make myself sleep on the couch. Got that self? Okay, so strength, okay? You are hereby declared a strong, resilient warrior of heroic proportions. You can say that. I am a strong, resilient warrior of heroic proportions, okay? It says, enjoy your battles wherever, whatever they are, because you're guaranteed to come through them stronger, brighter, and more compassionate. You can say that too. I am stronger, brighter, and more compassionate. It says, and based on what I know of mythology, probably with great hair and, and a six pack. Okay. <laughs> you might have great hair and a six pack. <laughs> okay. That's all I have for you this message. Okay. I hope you have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. And I will see you later.